friends, welcome to Inspire From Universe. It's a student special channel. The Bath City in the UK has a rich science and history background. In this video, we are going to explore how are they interrelated to each other. Kindly encourage your students and children to watch this video and get inspired from the universe. If you like to share contact of any student's community, kindly email to the below mentioned address. Our world is filled with magnificent oceans, ice cream like snow, mountains and greenery. But have you ever wondered what's inside our Earth? The cross section of our globe has four main layers. Of course, each main layer has multiple sub-layers. The outermost layer is called the crust. Though in the screen it looks like a thin line, it's 40 kilometers thick. Though on the ground level it reflects the atmospheric temperature, when you go in deep, the temperature does increase. It reaches almost 400 degrees Celsius. The next layer is called the mantle. The mantle contributes almost 85% of the Earth's mass. This layer has a thickness of around 2,900 kilometers and the temperature ranges between 1,000 to 3,700 degrees Celsius. This layer is in the form of semi-liquid. The third layer is called the outer core. This mainly consists of iron and nickel in liquid form. The thickness of this layer is around 2,200 km and the temperature ranges from 4,500 to 5,500 degrees Celsius. The innermost layer is called the inner core. This layer of dense and hard iron is 1,250 km thick and the temperature is around 5,200 degrees Celsius. Even the pressure is too high here of almost 3.6 million atmospheres. There are various small hot spots under the crust layer. It's so hot that it can even melt the mantle layer there. Due to the enormous pressure inside the earth, the molten mantle sometimes explodes as a volcano in these hotspots. These volcanoes can be categorized into three types, active, dormant and extinct. An active volcano is something which has recently exploded and more chances are there that it can explode in the near future. Dormant volcano is the place where volcanic explosions happened some time ago and there are chances of exploding in the future, though not a must. An extinct volcano is something where it's not expected to erupt again. In a dormant volcano too, you can see the heat and other minerals coming out slowly through the hole created by the explosion that happened before. So, when rainwater gets collected in the mouth of a dormant volcano, it will be hotter than the normal temperature. This is called as hot spring. Since lots of minerals too mix in this hot spring, if it is used in a controlled environment, it has lots of medicinal benefits. The Bath City in the UK has not one, but three hot springs like these. The city is in the mouth of a long dormant volcano. We get almost 1.1 million liters of mineral water from these hot springs every day in this city. The climatic range in this city is from 20 degrees to 2 degrees Celsius. But the surprising fact is for thousands of years, the water from these hot springs are almost at the standard temperature of around 45 to 46 degrees Celsius. When we look into the historical background of this city, as we have seen in our second episode, the Romans ruled England for around 400 years from 43 to 410 AD. They had built a temple in this bath city at the origin of this hot spring. 
and had built a big bath like a swimming pool for the public. After the Roman rule, this Roman bath got ruined. But this place was restored at the end of the 17th century with various other infrastructural developments in the city. The government has also set a museum in the rooms near the bath of things used by the Romans found during the restoration of this bath. A pumping room was set adjacent to the bath entrance where with the help of a bore well, pure spring water was pumped and given to cure patients. But now this place is converted to a beautiful restaurant. Even today, people can taste the spring water here. Apart from this, places like Pulteney Bridge, Abbey Church, the Royal Crescent and the Park are famous places to see in this city. This city also holds the famous University of Bath, which specializes in teaching courses and research in this field. Generally, UNESCO certifies a place as a World Heritage Site, but this is the only city in the UK where the entire city is a World Heritage City. In 2018 alone, around 6.25 million tourists have visited this city. When you visit this city, two things will kindle your thoughts. First one is 1,500 years ago, how come these Romans had built such a big bath like a natural spa for the public? The second one is even when these historical places got ruined, if a country decide, then they can restore the richness, value add to the place, change it to one of the best historical tourist destinations, and boost their country's economy. Bath City stands as a perfect example for this. When I say country, it doesn't mean only the government, but equal responsibility lies with us, the people, in keeping those places clean and by not damaging the beauty and importance of it. Today, we have learned about the scientific and historical background of this Bath City. In our next episode, we shall learn about a big revolution that happened in our world. Till then, take care and bye friends!